Hey guys and welcome back. So today I'm sharing with you what I packed beauty and makeup wise for a long weekend trip away to Amsterdam. So if you're in need of a bit of travel inspiration, hopefully this will help you guys out. So first of all, what I usually do, whether I'm going on a small getaway at the weekend or a longer holiday, is I'll get out all my makeup and toiletry bags. So all the ones that I have that I think will be good for the kind of holiday I'm going on. Now I'm not necessarily gonna use all of these, but um, I like to see what I've got and what beauty products will fit in either one of these the best. Here is all of my travel toiletries that I have. So I have quite a lot, but I do kind of collect things as I go. This one I have all skincare, mostly related products. And then this one is body care and hair care. Next, I'm gonna go through and sort out these two bins and see what I think I'll need. And the way I actually do this is I'll go through my typical day and pull out the things like that, so sort of in order. So when I get up, I get into the shower. What do I need in the shower? So I may need my, obviously, shower gel, razor, shampoo, conditioner, things like that and I do it in that order. Okay, so here is everything that I pulled out of those two bins. Now, I don't have everything that I need here to go in the toiletry bags, so what I'm gonna do now is write everything down that I have and tick that off and then write everything down that I need to pack and maybe a buy as well. So it's actually a few days later now. I wanted to get everything packed and finalized before I shared with you what I'm actually taking. So here is everything that I'm taking beauty and makeup wise. I decided to go with the big clear cosmetic bag so I could see everything and then I went for two of the Glossier pouches so I've got a bigger one here and then a smaller one and this is a clear bag for carry-on products. In this one I have all of my beauty products. Then in this one, this larger Glossier bag, I have all of my makeup. Then this smaller one is actually to go in my hand luggage. It just has a few non-liquid items in and my toothbrush. And then this one is actually the carry-on liquid bag. So I've tried to fit everything I possibly can as much as I can into this little clear bag. Now I'm going to pack everything up. So these two need to go in my hand luggage and then these two I actually just double bag so I put them in a, another plastic bag before I pack them into the suitcase. That way everything's just protected from the clothes and things if things leak. And I will share with you everything that I have bought on our four night trip. We're going away for four nights at the hotel. So I'll lay it all out and run down everything there. Okay, so we are finally here. We're actually in Amsterdam. We're here for a friend's wedding and we're staying at a beautiful hotel called the Max Brown Hotel. I'll pop the details to it down below. If you're ever in Amsterdam, it's a really great location. Now the bathroom is quite small, so I couldn't lay everything out there, but I've laid it on this really nice round table. So as I shared with you, I bought this clear makeup bag and then this is the smaller Glossier bag. Here is everything beauty wise. Now I actually wrap everything up into plastic bags, not only to protect the products in case they leak, but also I divide it into sections so I have everything I need. So here is everything um, hair related. Also I bought this at 
Duty Free. It's the new Clinique Dramatically Difference Hydrating Jelly. But I'll let you know on the blog how this is. I was really interested to try it. Okay, so next to hair care, I have a shower cap, a hairband, a headband, and some scissors. Then going down here, I have all my shower related products. Next to that, I have an anti back. Here is body products and then I just have my nail polish and top coat if I need to touch up. All of these products here were in my hand luggage, so the liquid bag, the clear plastic bag, the Glossier perfume and then two samples here, then the Glossier birthday balm. This one here is a sleep spray. Then we have two Elizabeth Arden 8 hour products, the lip balm and also a hand cream. This is actually from Poundland, it's a really nice size, it's 100 mils, and this is an SPF 20 sun lotion. Then I just have a face mist, this wasn't in my hand luggage but just has my beauty blender in. Also another thing I really recommend bringing is a good mirror. Sometimes the mirrors are in awkward places in the hotels, so if you're doing your makeup it's nice to have a hand mirror. This one I actually got from Primark. It's really good because one side is a bit more close up if you want to do some tweezing or anything like that. Sachet wise, I've got these two foot packs. You guys, these are so good. They're from Poundland and they're really great if you just want to perk up and hydrate your feet if you're doing a lot of walking. I know we're going to be doing a lot of walking in Amsterdam. This Enspa Nourishing and Moisturising Mask, that's from Asta. And then I just have a sample of the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser that I already have in a full size. Here I have all my nighttime skincare related products. So there's a lot of things that I'm just trying out, a couple of Murad products. There's an Elizabeth Arden Privage Serum, I think it is. This 8 hours sleep cream is from m and I really like this. And then I got an Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. Then here is all of my daytime skincare, so cleanser, toner, moisturizer, eye serum I think that is, and an SPF. In here I just have everything from blister plasters, normal plasters, a little sewing kit and things like that. Then this one had my flannel, my face flannel, and then also the mini magic eraser and just some cotton buds. Finally here I've got a couple of toothpaste and some dental floss and then my toothbrush is in the bathroom as well as my flannel. Lastly on to everything makeup related. As I mentioned before I put everything in the big Glossier pouch. Here we have the Georgia Asda brow tamer that I really really like. The Maybelline Total Temptation brow pencil and then some MAC clear brow gel that's really on its way out. Then I decided to bring this Pixie Chloe palette. This is really handy because it has the three blush pans in it and also six eyeshadows and then some brow and eyeliner powders there. Here is all of my eye products are this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray that I love. So I just have a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, then a couple of Pixie eyeliners, then one of the Pixie Fairy Lights, I think these are. This is in Rose Gold. You can't really see it that well, but I'm testing this out at the moment. Then there's two mascaras that I bought, the Urban Decay Perversion and the new Maybelline Falsies. If you've seen my latest Instagram, you would have seen me apply this. And the MAC Gel Eyeliner in Dip Down. Here I've bought the Smashbox Primer. I've never actually tried this before, but I've always heard good things about it. So I just have a little sample size. 
then two foundations the it cosmetic cc cream which i love because this has an spf of 50 in it then i'm testing out this makeup forever hd foundation stick so far so good and then also i'm testing the i don't know if any of you guys have tried this the primark concealer it's a cross between i would say the maybelline fit me concealer and the nars creamy concealer but Again, so far so good. Then I have my favorite Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte Powder. Over here is the Hourglass Bronzer in the lighter shade. I really like this color. Then I have the Pixie Double Highlighter in Subtle Sunrise. This shade is beautiful. I've only tried this color so far. I'll just open it actually so you can see it but they're both really pretty. I also bought these MUA shimmer sheets. I've spoken about these before. These are really nice if you don't have much room in your case because they're nice and compact. Then as well as my Glossier lip balm, I just bought the Essence in the Nude Lip Liner and my favourite matte lipstick in Angel. Last but not least I just bought a small selection of makeup brushes so a lot of them are travel size ones that I've got out of advent calendars and then I have a few bigger ones here and a great tip is I use these small pouches this is actually from the Glossier shower gel pump the pump comes separately so it came in this handy pouch that's the perfect size for putting makeup brushes in and then I also have this spectrum pouch where I got not this brush but another one but this is a really nice travel case as well just to put brushes in if you don't want them to get sort of all tangled up and things like that and then I just have my eyelash curlers and a Real Techniques Magic Eraser. And that is it guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe as always if you haven't already and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, bye!